Good day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well and good. Just wanted to create a very quick video today, just showing some cool new features with Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, this is version 13.2. Now, version 13.2 was actually released last month in May. Uh, sorry, in March. Uh, so I'm a little bit late getting to this video, but uh, hopefully it will demonstrate some features that are super handy. Uh, within Adobe Camera Raw for helping your workflow. Um, so we all know that with Bridge you can sort photos um, uh, or sort content by uh, star rating and color rating um, or label uh, as it's uh, it's better known uh, as well as when capture date uh, by camera. There's a whole bunch of features available in Adobe Bridge which helps you to identify images based on what you've rated them, when they were shot, uh, what camera they were shot on, uh, a whole bunch of features there. There's now um, those ones available in Adobe Camera Raw which is really cool. So as you can see I've got a bunch of images here opened up in Adobe Camera Raw. Uh, they're just photographed on various uh, cameras, various times, various locations, uh, purely for demonstration purposes only. So if we have a look down here, uh, just on the bottom left hand corner, and if we click on those three little uh, horizontal uh, lines, you can see that we can now sort by capture date, file name, star rating, color label, and reverse order. So with these images now, we have all of those options to decide how we want to sort those thumbnails and how which and which order we're going to view them in, which is a great feature. So if we say, for example, sort it by file name, you can see now that those images are in a different order according to file name, star rating. Uh, if we have a look at the top there, we've got a, a five star rated image. Uh, if we go down the next one, also five star, five star, and right down to images that don't have a star rating. And we also have the color label. So uh, back up at the top here, we've got images that do have a color label. Uh, and of course, down further at the bottom, images that don't have a color label. So that's the sort, uh, which order the images appear based on those various parameters. The next one is we can actually filter just to the right of those three horizontal lines. There's another little icon there. Um, and filter as opposed to sort basically means that you're only going to see uh, images with that particular uh, feature. So if you only want to see images with a star rating um, of say six uh, or four, sorry, five or four or three or two or one, whichever it may be, then you can select those images that have a star rating, which in this case there are six images. Um, so you're only you're filtering out all the images that don't have that feature. All right. So if we go to uh, no rating, you can see that we have uh, all of those images there. Now, if we go to filter by color label, you can see that we've got two images that are uh, labeled red or select. If we uh, click on that one, then you can see we've got those two images there and they both have a red label. So that just basically means that uh, we have a whole bunch of options now to sort the order of our images or our thumbnails within Adobe Camera Raw, but also to filter. So if you have, say, 10% of your images have a five star rating, you can quickly and easily identify those images and only edit on those images, which is a great feature, certainly helping to speed up your workflow and make things a little bit easier. Another new feature with Adobe Camera Raw 13.2 is one that has been asked by many people, uh, and that's the ability to be able to turn on and off selective adjustments. So say for example, if we go up to this image, uh, and we select our adjustment brush, shortcut K, and we are just going to increase the size of that brush. Now, this adjustment is going to be extreme. It's not one that I would normally do, but again, just for demonstration purposes, if we make the top half of that image very dark. Now, traditionally, um, on previous versions of Adobe Camera Raw, you weren't able to turn that adjustment brush application on and off so you could see what the image looks like before and after. Now when you have that specific adjustment selected, you can see there's a little eye icon here. Now if I select that and hold it down, it turns off all adjustment brush applications that I've made. 
Thank you, Adobe. That's a fantastic feature and one that we've uh, had a number of people contact us to, uh, to request. Uh, and having the ability to now turn that on and off is a great thing. And of course, it is exactly the same with any other adjustment. You can now turn that specific adjustment on and off and you are good to go. So a great upgrade and a great new feature, which is definitely very much appreciated and welcomed, which is always a good thing. So those couple of new features with Adobe Camera Raw version 13.2 will certainly help in your workflow, your speed of editing, uh, your speed of selecting images within Adobe Camera Raw, which is a fantastic feature uh, previously available on Bridge. Uh, but now available directly in RAW, which is always a good thing. And the ability to turn on and off those selective adjustments is a welcome addition to the new version of Adobe Camera RAW. Thank you, as always, for stopping in. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below. And I'll do my best to help. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you next time and take care.